What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be talking about the amiibo functionality of all the Zelda amiibos in Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. So first and foremost, we do know about one amiibo that is not released yet and that's the brand new Link's Awakening amiibo who he's small, adorable, and a one-for-one -one recreation of exactly how he looks in-game. And since the game looks like a diorama in the first place, that's, uh, that's not too surprising, honestly. Now, what about all the other Zelda amiibos? Well, no matter how many you have, any more than five is not useful. The Zelda amiibos that are eligible for compatibility with this game include the Wii U remakes, including Wolf Link, Wind Waker Zelda, Wind Waker Link, not pictured, the Breath of the Wild amiibos, including Ryder, Zelda, Bokoblin, Guardian, and Archer Link. The Super Smash Bros. Zelda amiibos, including Link, Toon Link, Young Link, Zelda, Sheik, and Ganondorf. And the Anniversary Links, including Majora's Mask Link, Ocarina of Time Link, Skyward Sword Link, and Twilight Princess Link. Also, Daruk, Mifa, Urbosa, and Ravioli. Also, the 8-bit Link. I forgot him. He's part of the Anniversary ones. All of these amiibos... You can only choose five of them, excluding the brand new Link's Awakening amiibo. And the functionality of them is when you progress in the game to the second dungeon known as the Bottle Grotto, after that, you're gonna be able to walk out, go to the right from the swamp, and find Dompe. Now, there's also a warp point here, which is really nice. And going inside of Dompe's area, he's going to allow you to do the dungeon editor feature of this game. In the previous game, this is where a mouse lived and he took pictures of you for the Game Boy printer, but we don't have a Game Boy printer for the Nintendo Switch, so that kind of makes sense. When you speak to him and you choose the Amiibo option, there's two options here. One is Receive Dungeon, and two, Get Special Chamber. There's a third option that unlocks after completing your first Dungeon Editor Dungeon. Now, when you see Get Special Chamber, that's when you're gonna be able to scan the actual Zelda amiibos. It doesn't matter which ones you scan, which order you scan them in, you unlock five special dungeon chambers, which for the record, a chamber is a tile that you place down. Using the Get Special Chamber option, if you scan the brand new Link's Awakening amiibo, again, not released yet, you get a plus effect for Shadow Link. Shadow Link does not appear anywhere else in the game except in this special dungeon setup that you can place him on any other room and then he's gonna be able to chase you down and battle you. It adds some difficulty to the dungeon that you create and because of that, you get some better rewards. Other than that, you cannot scan any other amiibos. You can't scan the Mario ones, any Smash ones that are not from the Zelda franchise, none of the Animal Crossing amiibos, so on and so forth. Last bit of functionality that an amiibo gets is any of the Zelda amiibos, you're gonna be able to scan it on your control Joy-Con or Pro Controller or your Switch Lite with NFC. And there's an option there for Save Dungeon and Receive Dungeon. This is a functionality that way you can save a dungeon layout to an amiibo, go to either a separate profile on the same Nintendo Switch or a different Nintendo Switch who does own the game, load up the game, scan the amiibo in, and you're going to be able to receive dungeon. From receive dungeon, I believe you're going to be able to save a dungeon layout so that someone else is going to be able to play the same dungeon layout, and it's basically a battle for who has the best time. That's the only functionality I've seen. And yes, this sounds like an amiibo convoluted way of what Mario Maker does online. What you could do in Mario Maker by just hitting upload course, now you have to save to an amiibo, physically go to someone else, let them scan it, and, and they get to play the dungeon. It's weird, right? I'm slightly upset that there's no like overworld functionality of having the different amiibos like in Breath of the Wild where you get all the unique outfits that they aren't necessarily better and they are difficult to upgrade but it was still something nice for you having the amiibos and being able to scan them in game. Here's to hoping that uh, they're gonna bring that functionality for Breath of the Wild too because I don't think that this is some great functionality here for Link's Awakening. I want to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. We're going to be covering Link's Awakening, also giving away a copy of Link's Awakening. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below, including the word Link. 
we're giving away a Switch Lite and a copy of Link's Awakening. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. And until next time, Austin John out. <laughs>